Greetings! It is time for Celebrate Every Day with Amazing K. I celebrate every day. What's your superpower? Brought to you by, from <laughs> the National Day Calendar. So hello everybody. I am Karen K. Rush and I am here to talk to you about the holidays that we're going to talk about today on Wednesday, no, Tuesday. Tuesday, June 20th. Yes, it is Tuesday, June 20th. And what does that mean? That means that it is ice cream social day, but ice cream soda. Ice cream soda day. Yay! It's also vanilla milkshake day. Yay! It's also world productivity day. Yay! And it's also hype with a geek day. Yay! It's also national American Eagle day. Yay! So those are the days that we're going to talk about today that we can celebrate. Because today, on Tuesday, June 20th, that's what we celebrate. So let's talk about ice cream soda and vanilla milkshake day. So it is the national <laughs> ice cream soda. What is ice cream soda? Well, we had uh, last week, we had uh, black cow. That's ice cream soda. Because the difference between an ice cream soda and a vanilla in a milkshake any milkshake, is how you make it. They're both made with ice cream and, and stuff like that. Well, a ice cream soda is ice cream and soda pop. And some people call it soda. Some people call it pop. Some people call it soda pop. <laughs> some people call it a carbonated beverage. <laughs> okay, so that's what that's made out of. And that's today. So what is your favorite flavor of ice cream soda? My favorite flavor of ice cream soda is Verner's and ice cream. That's also called a Boston cooler. <laughs> and Verner's, I don't know why, because Verner's was made here in Michigan and Boston is way over there. But yeah, that's mine. Put in the comments what your favorite ice cream soda is and enjoy it today because today is National Ice Cream Soda Day. It's also National Vanilla Milkshake Day. So we have other days that are like chocolate milkshake, strawberry milkshake, but today is vanilla milkshake day. And vanilla is the most commonest favorite ice cream there is. So the difference between a soda and a milkshake is that ice cream, uh, milkshake is made with ice cream and milk. Okay, or some kind of milk substitute because there's so many of them out there now. Rice milk, almond milk, you know, lactose milk, what have you. But that's the difference. And so that's today. So go out and have one. Enjoy yourself. Just don't do it so much, but enjoy yourself. Okay, let's move on to the next one. World Productivity Day. Wow, that is an awesome day because what can you do to be productive today? That's what we're going to think about. This is something that businesses uh, celebrate and everybody celebrate to try to be more productive. So if you are working outside of your home and you're working in an office, what can you do to be more productive? What are things that you can make not distractions so you can be productive? What are some of those things that you can do? So they have a whole website about it that you can go. Some people on this day, businesses or corporations, they give workshops and seminars on how to be more productive. So one of the things that I do, because I work from home, people that work from home have to really be productive. You have to really try to figure out not to uh, waste time because it's so easy to do because you're at home. But how do you do that? One of the things that I do is I make lists and I cross things out. I get so much pleasure of crossing things off of the list when they are done. The other thing I do is I use a Fitbit timer, my timer that I use for Fitbit and walking. It has a timer on there. You can use your phone, use a timer, and I time how long it takes me to do things without any distractions. So if I get a distraction, I have to turn the timer off. And then I try to beat that time. To see if I can cut that out. And I said, well, that's way too long to do that task. And then I try to cut it, cut it in half or cut it down depending on what it is. So those are two tips that I have. What tips do you have to help people be more productive on National World Pro Productivity Day? If we want to be productive. Okay, let's move to the next one. The next holiday today that we're celebrating is Hike with a Geek Day. <laughs> So this day, when they're talking about geeks, they're talking about techies, you know, and I don't really consider techies geek. We need technology. Technology makes the world go wrong. I call them heroes. So if that's you, you're not a geek, you're a hero. So this is the day that we ask the heroes, not the geeks, but that's what this day is, is to push back from your technology, 
you know, your, your gamers, your, your, uh, things that you do. Uh, we talked a lot about screen time for kids. That's different. We're talking about adults now and maybe some kids too, because we want you to get out and hike. Go on a hike. A hike could be so free and a hike is really good. You get to free that fresh air. You get to do some exercise. You get to walk. And a hike doesn't always mean climbing or, or going on stretch heels or things. It can mean just getting out and going for a walk. Some stress, stress reliever and stuff like that. That's what it is. So also what this day is, I would like to share with you. One day when I was in Saba, Saba, that's Caribbean, the Saba Island, I took a hike. I took a hike. I actually climbed a hill, I climbed a mountain. The mountain was Mount Scenery, but before you get to Mount Scenery, there is a, a land called, a, a part on the mountain called Mount Mask the Mascadone Hill. So I didn't go all the way up to Mount Scenery, but I went up to the hill, which is about halfway, and it was beautiful. The hike took me two hours. But it really wasn't supposed to. But I, I took my time. You know, I'm a little older now. <laughs> so I took my time. I, I stopped. I rest. I enjoyed the scenery. The scenery was magnificent. I saw plants that grew so tall. And the plants that I've seen in house plants that were house plants, but now they were not in a pot. They were just growing along the side of the mountain. They were so tall. They were huge. Their leaves were huge as I was. So what that taught me about that we need to think outside of the pot. We need to get out of the pot. We need to stretch ourselves. That's awesome. So that's what I did. Now, the other thing about hike with a geek day is hike with somebody. I, I, I did that hike alone. But hike with someone. That's what they were saying. Go and get somebody that you know worked too hard and go on a hike. Go on a walk. So that's how you can celebrate. And then post about it on National Hike with a Geek Day. <laughs> Hashtag. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is National American Eagle Day. How awesome is that? Our American Eagle, that is the national symbol for the United States of America. It's on our money, it's on our flags, it's on everything that has to do with the nation. But what, what this day is about is to honor that eagle and also to make sure that he does not, well, he recently came off of the endangered species list. So that's a good thing. But I want to talk about what it means to be an eagle, what this eagle is. First of all, here's some facts about an eagle that you probably didn't know. The eagle's wingspan is seven feet long. Oh my gosh. Seven feet long. That's taller than a person. Some people, most people aren't seven feet. Most people are six something or maybe five something. But can you imagine a seven feet, seven foot tall person? Vertical wise, I mean, not vertical, but horizontal, that's as, as long as that wingspan. And also, um, wingos, they weigh, eagles eight, weigh between seven to 15 pounds. You know, a little eagle would be seven, a big one is 15 pounds. That's a big, powerful, strong bird. They have sharp teeth, they, they swoop, you know what they do? They soar. Now, when I was younger, I used to love this song. Fly Like an Eagle by the band, who was the Steve Miller band. Fly like an eagle, feeling free out to the sea. I'm going to fly like an eagle. Let my spirits carry me. I'm going to fly like an eagle. Well, guess what? Eagles don't fly. Eagles soar because they soar and they swoop down. That's what makes them a... Uh, predator bird and, and a, what's that other word they call them? Raptors. There are certain type of birds that are raptors because they swoop down to get their prey. And that's what eagles do. They swoop down and they get their um, fish right out the ocean. Just snatch them up. Snatch it up because that's what they do. So eagles, what I learned from eagles is that they soar. And my acronym for soar is striving onward always reaching because that's what you do when you soar you are striving onward you always reach it not you you're going up you're not coming down you know always and then eagles have power they're so powerful they are strong those talons those that beak they are so strong they're powerful so when you're soaring you're soaring and you're becoming powerful so i want you to think about the acronym for power pushing onward 
with energetic resilience. Because when you're soaring, that's what you're doing. You're pushing onward with energetic. Because you got to be energy. You got to have the energy to, to resilience. Because resilience means that you, you fell back or, or you came and kind of stumbled or, or something happened. But you got right back up. That's what resilience means. So you got to be energetic when you get right back up. So let's think about that. Be an ego today. Soar. Powerful. Striving onward. Always reaching. Always, you got to go get some goals. If you don't have any goals, get some goals so you can always be reaching toward that goal. That goal is there and make it powerful. Do whatever you do, do it. Don't do it with weakness. Like, oh, I'm going to try. No, don't do try. One of my business partners say, oh, we don't try. We do. Because when you try, you don't do it. So let's be powerful. Let's be eagles. Okay? So that's it. Now. Just want to let you know that we still have the contest going on this week. This is day three. Oop, upside down. <laughs> giving away trips. Yes, giving away trips for rush travels and adventures. Golf trip or spa trip or and a three-day getaway. All you have to do is get people to subscribe. So far, we have one person subscribed, but they didn't say who subscribe them who's who did that who uh suggested that they subscribe but if it's just you subscribing because you want to get in the contest that's cool but the next people that subscribe you got to put it in the comments who referred you to this channel because those are the ones that are going to go into the drawing to win two nights three day getaway or two night three day spa package or two night three day golf package and you do three of those you go in the drawing and if whoever has the most, they automatically get a trip of their choice. So that's it for today. Come back tomorrow because it is first day of summer. Yay. So it's daylight appreciation time. And it's smoothie day. We may have some smoothies for you tomorrow. But you don't know until you come back. So I'm Karen K. Rush. And I just want you to be you, be bold, be you. When I say you, your original uniqueness. Because you're all unique and we all have something to celebrate. Thank you. God bless and I approve this message.